Good morning, friends. This is a 30-year-old lady who presented the recurrent posterior circulation infarcts, not the occipital infarct in this MRI. She has had two CT angiographies and both CT angiographies were reported as normal. This is the 3D reconstruction which shows both vertebral arteries are patent. One of them is dominant, the other is hypoplastic which are joining together to form the basilar artery. This patient had an interesting vascular anomaly of the left V3 segment of the vertebral artery. Here the vertebral artery was fenestrated wherein the artery divides into two and then joins together to form the main artery. This is due to a failure of anastomosis of the plexiform network and this occurs in less than 1% of patients. One of the limbs of this fenestrated vertebral artery had an anomalous course and was occluded. We could notice the proximal stump as well as the distal stump of this occluded artery and we were able to come to the conclusion that this was cause of the stroke. The review of the CT angiography clearly shows the proximal stump and as well as the distal stump and we could come to a conclusion that this occlusion of the fenestrated vertebral artery limb was the cause for the stroke. The 3 re reconstruction of the CT angiography clearly shows the proximal stump marked by the red arrow and the distal stump marked by the green arrow. This is an alternate view which confirms the same. Fenestrated vertebral artery V3 segment dissection and occlusion causing a stroke is an extremely rare presentation and worthwhile keeping a note of it. Thank you.